Hi, I'm Jared Rathbun, the starter of Rocking for Autism. I bet you think you know about autism, or even Rocking for Autism. I think you don't, and I'm about to tell you some pretty cool facts, like Albert Einstein had autism, and also I've seen some pretty cool shoes in my day because I don't look people in the eye like most autistic people because I got autism and that's the way I am. Oh, you're still here? Well, I guess you want to learn more then. Autism spectrum disorder is a noun. It's a neurodevelopmental disorder starting in early childhood characterized by impairments in social interaction and communication by restrictors. Guess what? I also got that Spanish version for you people that are Spanish. So, the other day I asked this guy I work with if he watched the video on autism, what he'd want to know about autism. And his response was, I want to know the different kinds of autism. Well, as I stated before, there is no different kinds of autism. It's all called an autism spectrum disorder now. But there is a few things like characteristics, and those characteristics are behavior, social interaction, and communication. Wow, that's it. Now we're going to get deep down into these characteristics. Like, first one, behavior. Unusually intense or focused interest is part of behavior. We also might see some stereotyped and repetitive body movements such as hands flapping and spinning like this. Woo! Okay, and then you might see some repetitive use of objects such as repeatedly switching lights on and off or lighting up toys. Instances on striking... Uh, sorry, I messed that up. Instances on sticking to routines, such traveling the same route home each day and doing the same thing in exactly the same order every time. I do that sometimes. Exactly like like when I wake up in the morning and then I gotta go to the bathroom and then I gotta go throw my clothes on. You know what I mean? Same stuff. Or like when I'm walking to my car, I walk the same route. Okay. Unusually. Sensory interests such as sniffing objects or staring intimately at moving objects. Sensory sens sensitivities including avoidance of everyday sounds and textures such as hair, dryers, vacuum, cleaners, and sand. That is about behavior. Now we're going to talk about social interaction. With this comes limited use and understanding of nonverbal communication such as eye gaze, facial expressions, and gestures. It is really hard for me to understand people's facial expressions and for me to express myself. Difficulties forming and sustaining friendships. That, that's hard for me to get friendships. It takes a lot of work. Lack of seeking to share enjoyment, interest, and activities with other people. That is right. I, it's hard for me to share my enjoyment. Meaning like if I, I'm enjoying something, uh, it's just hard for me. But like sustaining friendships, I've been trying to get women lately. And man, it's just hard to sustain their friendships. Like just difficulties of social and emotional re response. Responsiveness, emotional responsiveness. Last characteristic, I want to talk about communication. That's a big one with um, autistic people because communication is a hard one. We have delayed language development. Kids don't really speak right away usually. Some don't speak at all. Some speak a little bit. Difficulties initiating and sustaining conversations that is hard to start conversations and stuff and know what to say or they say the wrong things that pop in their head I do it all the time where I say too much and then stereotyped and repetitive use of language such as repeating phrases from television okay 
some autistic people, kids with autism, and when they get all freaking out in certain situations, like like loud noises and it starts freaking them out, they, they might start repeating phrases from TV like it says, like a phrase in their head and just walk around to, it calms them down or something. But that is all of the characteristics. And now I'd like to go into a couple stories. Okay, so signs of autism usually appear by age two to three, but sometimes they can appear even at 18 months. So yeah, when I was a baby, I really wouldn't, like when my mom tried to hold me, I would freak out, I would cry a lot, and she, she just knew something was wrong. But finally, when I got older and I was diagnosed with autism, it all made sense. Because I don't like to be touched as a baby. I don't like to be touched a lot now. Part of autism. And that's something great. Another story, like I said in the beginning, I've seen a lot of cool shoes in my day. I've also seen some $20 bills on the ground because I have a problem with looking people in the eye like a lot of autistic people so I'm always looking down so I'll notice like hey dude those are awesome shoes or or one time hey grandma I just found 20 bucks in Walmart parking lot It's pretty cool stuff and I mean that's part of autism so with autism there's a lot more I could talk about because some kids have it slightly some kids have it more worse it's just a lot because that's why they call it the spectrum now. But if you would like to, and you should, tune in to my next video about Rocking for Autism, the group that I started in 2017.